वेलकम इन कंप्यूटर लेक्चर ऑनलाइन कोरोना वायरस के बायस आप अपने घर में बैठकर हमारे फेसबुक पेज पर अपने क्लासेस के मुताबिक लेक्चर्स को देख सकते हैं और उसके मुताबिक स्टडी कर सकते हैं नाइन्थ क्लास के बुक में से आज हम चैप्टर नंबर वन को देखेंगे चैप्टर नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर ये हमारी किताब में पहला चैप्टर है और इस चैप्टर में जिसका अनुमान है वो है इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर्स कंप्यूटर्स से जो हमारा तारुफ है वो हम देखेंगे और इसके तमाम जो टॉपिक्स हैं हम उनको टच करने की कोशिश करेंगे सबसे पहले हम देखते हैं कि कंप्यूटर क्या है A computer is a machine that can be instructed to carry out sequences of arithmetic or logical operations automatically via computer programming. Modern computers have the ability to follow generalized sets of operations called programs. These programs enable computers to perform an extremely wide range of tasks. तो कंप्यूटर एक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मशीन है कंप्यूटर हमारी ज़िंदगी का लाजमी हिस्सा बन चुका है और कंप्यूटर हर मैदान में हमें नज़र आता है आए अब हम कंप्यूटर की हिस्ट्री के बारे में देखते हैं कंप्यूटर की हिस्ट्री में जो डिवाइस हैं मैं यहाँ पर उनके नाम आपको बताता हूँ और इनके बारे में स्टडी जो है हम चंद इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोस के जरिए से करेंगे सबसे पहले जो डिवाइस है वो है अबाकस उसके बाद जॉन नेपियर्स के नेपियर बॉन्ड्स हैं उसके बाद ब्लेज पास्कर की पैस क्लाइन ये कैलकुलेटर है फिर चार्ल्स बाबेज हमारी बुक के मुताबिक जो है वो हमें नज़र आता है चार्ल्स बाबेज को कंप्यूटर का फादर भी कहते हैं ये एक जनरल नॉलेज भी है हु आज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर चार्ल्स बाबेज वाज द फादर ऑफ कंप्यूटर उसके बाद हरमोन होलारित जिसने पंच कार्ड इन्वेंट किया और इसी तरह से जो है बहुत सारी और डिवाइस हैं जैसे वॉन न्यू मैन का नाम भी आता है जिसने स्टोर्ड प्रोग्राम का आइडिया दिया है और इसी तरह से 1950 और 1960 की दहाई में कंप्यूटर की फील्ड में बहुत ज़्यादा तरक्की हुई है तो सबसे पहले हम इन डिवाइस के बारे में वीडियोस देखते हैं जैसे वाकस है नेपियर्स बॉन है पेस्कलाइन है चार्ल्स बाबेज है और इसके बाद हम कंप्यूटर की जनरेशन के बारे में भी वीडियोस देखेंगे उनको जानेंगे और स्टडी करेंगे और हम कंप्यूटर की हिस्ट्री के बारे में चंद वीडियोस देखते हैं हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स 2500 बीसी थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बी सी दस इज द फर्स्ट नॉन कैलकुलेटिंग मशीन यूज फॉर काउंटिंग It is made of bits and rods. It is mainly used for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. 1614 AD. Napier's bones. Napier's bones was invented by John Napier, a Scottish mathematician. A set of bones consisted of 9 rods, one for each digit, 1 through 9 and a constant rod for the digit 0. 1633 AD. The slide rule it was invented by William Outred the slide rule is embodied by the two sets of scales that are joined together with the marginal space between them 1642 AD the rotating wheel calculator it was first developed by a french philosopher blaise pascal it consists of gears and levers this is a predecessor to today's electronic calculator 1822 AD the difference engine it was built by charles babbage british mathematician and engineer 
Babbage is called the father of today's computer. 1890 AD Holyrood Tabulating Machine It was developed by Herman Holyrood. It was designed by using punched cards. अब हम कंप्यूटर की जनरेशंस के बारे में स्टडी करेंगे कि कंप्यूटर की जनरेशंस हैं वो कितनी हैं और उनमें क्या फ़र्क है कंप्यूटर की जनरेशन जो हैं वो पांच हैं और इन पांचों जनरेशन में क्या फ़र्क है क्या टेक्नोलॉजी है इनके कंप्यूटर क्या हैं किस तरह के हैं और ये किस तरह से काम करती हैं तो आए हम इनके बारे में छोटे छोटे क्लिप्स के की मदद से जो है वो स्टडी करने की कोशिश करते हैं फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर The period of first generation computer was 1940 to 1956 using vacuum tubes. Hardware technology, the first generation of computers started using vacuum tubes as the basic components for memory and circuitry for CPU that is central processing unit. The input to the computer was through punched cards and paper tapes. output was displayed as printouts software technology the instructions were written in machine language which uses zeros and ones for coding of the instructions physical appearance these computers were large in size and required a large room for installation examples edvac electronic discrete variable automatic computer Ed SAC Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator Univac Universal Automatic Computer ENIAC Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer Application Main application areas were scientific computation record keeping payroll processing etc second generation computer transistors the period of second generation computer was 1956 to 1963 using transistors hardware technology transistors replaced the vacuum tubes of the first generation of computers during this generation using the transistor were cheaper consumed less power more compact in size more reliable and faster than the first generation machines the transistors were far superior to the vacuum tube compared to the first generation these computers were smaller faster and energy efficient in this generation magnetic cores were used as primary memory the magnetic tape and magnetic disk were used as secondary memory the second generation computers still relied on punched cards and printouts for outputs they used the concept of a stored program where the instructions were stored in the memory of the computer mm -hmm. 
software technology. The instructions were written using the assembly language. Assembly language used mnemonics like add for addition and sub for subtraction for coding of the instructions. Assembly language is easier than the machine language. High level programming languages such as COBOL and Fortran were also developed during this period. The first computer of second generation was developed for the atomic energy industry. Physical appearance Transistors are smaller in size compared to vacuum tubes, so the size of the computer was also reduced. Examples PDP-8 IBM-1401 CDC-1604 and IBM-7090 Advantages Second generation computers moved from cryptic binary machine language to symbolic or assembly languages. This allowed programmers to specify instructions in words. Disadvantage High cost limited to special purpose tasks. Third generation computer. The period of third generation was 1964 to 1971 using integrated circuits that is ICs. Hardware technology, the third generation computers used the integrated circuits that is IC chips. In an IC chip, multiple transistors are placed on a silicon chip. Silicon is a type of semiconductor. The use of IC chip increased the speed and efficiency of computers. The keyboard and monitor were used instead of the punched cards and printouts. Software technology In this generation, remote processing, time sharing, real-time, multi-programming operating system OS were used. Operating system allowed different applications to run at the same time. High-level languages were used mostly for programming instead of machine language and assembly language. Computing characteristics The computation time was in nanoseconds that is 10 power minus 9 second. Physical appearance The size of these computers was quite small compared to the second generation computers. Examples NCR395 IBM360 IBM 370, PDP 11. Disadvantage Limited storage capacity. Applications Computers were produced commercially and were smaller and cheaper than the first and second generation computers. Used for both commercial and scientific applications. Fourth generation computer. The period of the fourth generation was 1971 to present using large-scale integration LSI and very large-scale integration VLSI circuits. Hardware technology The technology used is large-scale integration LSI and very large-scale integration VLSI circuits. Thousands of transistors are integrated on a small silicon chip using LSI technology. Microprocessor is a chip containing millions of transistors and components designed using LSI and VLSI technology. Semiconductor memory replaced the earlier magnetic core memory, resulting in faster access to storage. Secondary storage device like magnetic disk became smaller in physical size and larger in capacity. The linking or networking of computers is another key development of this era. Software technology Several new operating systems like the MS-DOS and MS-Windows developed during this time. This generation of computers supported graphical user interface that is GUI. 
The GUI is a user-friendly interface that allows user to interact with a computer via menus and icons. High-level programming languages are used for writing programs. Physical appearance they are smaller than the computers of the previous generation. Some can even fit into the palm of the hand. Examples Intel 4004 chip was the first microprocessor. In 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh. Disadvantage the latest technology and highly skilled staffs are required for manufacturing of microprocessors, so it is difficult to build. Applications They became widely available for commercial purposes like building and computing machines. Computers became more powerful, they could be linked together to form networks which eventually led to the development of the internet usage. Fifth Generation Computer The period of fifth generation is present and beyond date using Ultra Large Scale Integration ULSI. Recent research has focused on developing the thinking computers that is Artificial Intelligence AI. This generation is based on parallel processing hardware and AI Artificial Intelligence Software. Hardware Technology The VLSI technology became ULSI that is Ultra Large Scale Integration Technology which enabled to store millions of components on a single chip. Software Technology AI that is Artificial Intelligence Software which includes areas like Expert System ES, Natural Language Processing NLP, Speech Recognition, Voice Recognition, Robotics, etc. All the high-level languages like C and C++, Java, .NET, etc. are used in this generation. Examples Robot Applications This generation of computers uses parallel processing that allows several instructions to be executed in parallel thus results in faster processing speed. The Intel Dual Core Microprocessor uses parallel processing, mainly used for high-level scientific applications in the areas of space research and defense. This is some of the computer. What is the computer? What is computer? What is the 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 computer? What is तो अपने कमेंट्स में हमें बताएं ताकि हम अगला पार्ट जो है इसका मजीद अच्छे तरीके से तैयार कर सकें थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस यू